Hey, Snickers back again tonight. Tonight I'm going to put radio streaming. Been around on the net for years and years. So I've got a couple of little tools I've been using over for a little while and we'll have a look at them. First one is Stream Tuner 2. Now I've used Stream Tuner before, but it's the latest and greatest of their new thing. Looks pretty much the same, nothing going down there. But loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of radio channels. You can listen to until we've got to. So if I click play, it'll open in VLC because you can f configure it to do play in whatever one you want to. VLC, AMROC or whatever. So I've just done VLC for now. So that's fine for me. So pretty cool. Oh, by the way, I can't give you any audio because that would be against the law, wouldn't it? And I'll get told off. So anyway, don't forget the bit rates. Now I found one with a 320. Now let's see if it does actually sound like a 320 bit rate. Oh yes indeedy. I've got bases up pumping in my eardrums. Blimey, that's loud. But very good. I like it. So that's pretty nice. So you've got plenty of got extensions you can have. The usual stuff on the bar, do your tool bars, large, medium, small, stuff like that. Different bookmarks, documentation, online forum. You can also record but I think that would also be against the law, officially. So we won't do that, will we? No. But as you can see, there's loads and loads of channels to choose from, and loads and loads of searches to choose from, if you want this sort of thing. Now, this is a bit too much in my face for me, because it's got to be on desktop and there's loads and loads there. I want something that's in the background. So, I found another one. It's called Radio Tree. Okay? So I've got it up here, in my bar. Basically, I click on my radio channel I want to listen to for the time being. I've not added any more added in any for the time being, so I just wanted to test it out. And actually, it just runs in the background. It's really, really nice. I can't give you audio, as you know, against the law, but it runs really nice. You can configure it. So basically, if you want to add your own radio stations that you want to listen to, all you do basically is click on Add, put in the name, the URL, which you can nick from StreamTuner 2, by the way, and put it in, and off you go. And it's really nice and it runs in the background and that's the one I prefer personally. So yeah, two nice new apps. StreamTuner has been around but StreamTuner 2 is a new one. Radio Tray, very, very good. Comes as dev files, tar files, RPMs, etc, etc. Sneaky Linux out.